morning before the hour. We're joined now by Sheriff Joe Lombardo for our Morning Cup of Joe segment. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, let's talk a little bit about one of the bills that's before the Assembly Committee. It would allow police to <clears throat> use someone's cell phone device at the scene of the accident. What do you think about this? Uh, well, I'm back and forth a little bit on this. Um, my understanding, I, I believe they're calling it the textilizer. Mm -hmm. um, my understanding is the technology's not even there yet. Uh, I guess it's a proposed bill in case the technology catches up. But, you know, I, I support any tool that would help us in solving what we're investigating. You know, in this case, it would be accidents. Um, but I think we have to consider people's um, privacy. Uh, you know, everything associated with the Constitution and, and particular types of situations. But when it rises up to a different level, so, such as accidents with injuries mm -hmm. or fatal accidents, um, it would definitely be a tool for us. Um, but until they work out the nuances of the technology, I think it's a moot discussion because um, you got to determine how intrusive you're going to be with the device or whether you're just determining whether they were on it or not at the point of accident. So I think we've got a long ways to go, devil in the details kind of thing, um, but I would support anything that helps us do our job. Okay. It's a very interesting proposal. Mm -hmm. uh, here's another question. Let's talk about actually an announcement that Metro made very recently. Uh, there was an issue with the break break-ins and burglaries in the Chinatown area. Arrests were made, but really it's not a problem just in Chinatown. Other areas are seeing issues like this. We see shopping centers, malls, other neighborhoods around the valley. So what's Metro's message to try and curb uh, these kind of break-ins for cars and, and vehicles? And what to do if you become a victim? Yeah, you're correct. It was a pretty significant arrest over there in the Chinatown area. We had three individuals that were targeting those specific shopping centers, and we did a proactive undercover operation. We were able to get them in custody, so it was success. Um, but that's a very common crime, no matter where you're at in town, especially in shopping centers. Um, I looked at the numbers recently, and we're averaging about 20 a day. Mm. Um, so it sounds like a lot, but we're a big valley. Yeah. Um, so. What we do is ask people to help us because it's, with such a common crime, it's difficult for us to be everywhere. Um, similar to traffic act or tickets when we issue um, particular tickets for traffic violations. But in this case, when we do identify a trend or a pattern, and we can call it down to common times a day or, um, that would assist us to do an investigation, we are proactive in that vein. And every area command has autonomy to do those kind of investigations. But to be have the citizens help us, uh, you know, we advise them to um, <clears throat> lock their cars, obviously, take their items if they can, if they can't, uh, hide them in the car so they're not readily visible to a crook attempting to cause a crime. So it's important for them to be as proactive as we are in that situation. Sure. All right, so everybody <clears throat> complains. We don't like to pay for parking on the strip or downtown, <laughs> but, um, you know, let's take a different aspect of it. Parking in garages can give drivers a better sense of security. We've got more cameras. We've got security guards at times. What's your take there? I, I agree with you, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, yeah, it is frustrating. You, you increase money that comes out of your pocket, but the, uh, there is security that comes along with it. Um, there are license plate readers in a lot of those locations, so as you enter the garage, it'll take a photograph of your license plate. Determine if your car was stolen, they can draw back on that information and determine maybe identify the suspects or if somebody broke in your car, like yeah. we were just talking about, help identify the suspects. But it, you know, when they, we have a secure environment, it usually lends to security being present. So um, that's a definite tool for us. And you can see it in the numbers because mm -hmm. we evaluate that on a regular basis, especially when it comes to stolen cars. And the, the locations that do have the um, pay to park yes. um, have a lot lower numbers. Mm -hmm. Well, great to know. Well, thank great, you well, good and bear it. We will for the bigger picture. Yeah. Sheriff, thank you for joining us this morning. If you have a question for Sheriff Joe Lombardo, you can submit it on our website, which is lasvegasnow.com. The link is on the right side of the page, and you can find out if your question was answered every Wednesday. And coming.